Osho says a lot of things about love, sex, and relationships. I think getting scared is a good sign that that's a good time to breathe because I'm about to expand. I know when I uh, started reading some of the more further out Tantra stuff, I got really scared because I had to realize that probably everything I learned up to that point might be wrong. That was very scary to me. When I met Greg, I said, I just read some stuff. I'm going to have to not think about it right now and think about it later because I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet to think that everything I've been thinking so far has been wrong. Is that ringing a bell for you yeah. a little bit? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes these ideas are so exciting, we're not quite ready for them yet. So we kind of sit at the edge of like, mm, not quite ready for that yet. But that fear shows us that's also something exciting there. Mm -hmm. Something could be very exciting to really change my world in a positive direction. And if it's scary just because it's not safe, then we should run in the opposite direction. Being scared isn't always a sign that something's good. I and mean, if you're walking down an alley in the middle of the night and you get scared, you should be and you should get out of the alley. But if you're reading something more expansive about love, sex, higher consciousness, it starts getting scared. The ego always gets scared because the ego is going to have to shrink. The ego is going to be told that it's not running the show. And the ego doesn't, is going to put up a fight about that. That's my experience. So congratulations. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can feel the shrinking yeah. conversation. Yeah, that's a good sign. So how do you 